Okay, so welcome to today's webinar. Today we are going to talk about one of the diseases which is nowadays I see very often in my homeopathic practice, cardiomyopathy. First, let's try to understand cardiomyopathy and then I will share with you certain cases where with homeopathy, cardiomyopathy can be really helped. Let's see. First, let's try to understand what is cardiomyopathy. It is a heterogeneous group of disease where especially the heart muscle that is a myocardium is associated where there is a dysfunction where there is a hypertrophy dilatation. There can be many causes of it. One of the commonest causes is genetic disease. There are different different types of cardiomyopathy medically. There is a dilated cardiomyopathy, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, restrictive cardiomyopathy. The commonest one is dilated and hypertrophy and it is often related to dilated is often related to connective tissue disorders. The ejection fraction is often less than 30% and the ventricle kind of thickness is more than 60 mm. Hypertrophy is also one of the commonest things. Causes could be mutation in sarcomeric proteins. Here the ejection fraction is normally normal. Restrictive cardiomyopathy, this is due to infiltrative disease like sarcoidosis, amyloidosis, hemochromatosis, endomyocardial fibrosis. The ejection fraction here is 25-50%. What are the main symptoms? Very often patients come with a lot of paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea. They cannot breathe at night. A lot of orthopnea. They have to sit up. They cannot tolerate too much of exertion. They tend to put on weight, jugular vein enlargement, swelling in the liver, ascites swellings, murmurs and so many so many symptoms. Commonest is cough and breathlessness. Many common investigations are there including uh, 2D echo is one of the commonest things to be done. We can do serum, sodium, ECG, lipid profile and so on. But I want to tell you that there is no treatment for this in modern medicine and homeopathy has, is a very very good alternative medicine for this. I want to share with you one of the very interesting cases which I treated. This is a case of cardiomyopathy, 45 year old lady. She was based in Hyderabad. She had come to see me and um, she was here in the hospital where I was uh, invited to treat. And you can see here it was a dilated cardiomyopathy and you can see the LVEF was 22 percent only she was almost breathless with swelling ascites all over the body bedridden when i went there she was bedridden the dropsy she had to use the mask palpitations she had bleeding low oxygen saturation blood pressure she also was hypertensive her weight was increasing now in homeopathy it is very important to understand the state to understand behind the symptoms so i try to understand and she had a history of a lot of urinary tract infection behind. The initial symptoms was there was swelling first in the left foot, then on the right, and she had taken a lot of allopathic medications. In homeopathy, it is important to understand the person in the disease. So, she had a lot of sweat all over the body. She couldn't tolerate fasting too often and very thirsty. Her main state was she was very, very anxious. And her main anxiety was for her family members and about her future and about insecurity. She constantly wanted someone with her. She couldn't be alone. This was her main pattern. And in homeopathy, it is important to understand the pattern. Her main pattern was anxiety, insecurity, being alone, needs company, and what will happen to her. This constant state of insecurity. One of the things I observed was when I was examining her, when my laptop touched her feet she just jerked these are very minute observations which are important for a homeopathic physician when i try to analyze the case and there are different different ways of analyzing uh, in homeopathy and i analyzed the case her main symptom was where there was a lot of sensitivity of the feet where one of the main remedy was calicarp and you can see calicarp also has swelling from left to right foot Calicarp has specific action on the heart muscles. You can see, I give Calicarp 31 dose every week. Calicarp also has this main insecurity. Her main breathlessness reduced remarkably. She was able to walk within a week. You remember she was bedridden. She used to get a lot of cough, wheezing, which also improved. And at the end of 4 to 5 months, her weakness dropped, she reduced. She was able to walk on her own. And what is interesting was her LVF, which you remember, was almost less than you can say 
22%, it really improved. And maybe you can see here, the LVF became, you can see here, 40% within four months. It doubled. This is the potential of homeopathy. And um, I have many cases with uh, cardiomyopathy where homeopathy it has really improved. Homeopathy benefits in this type of diseases. So if you have this kind of disease, you should meet a good homeopathic physician. My clinic is in Mumbai in Dadar and you are welcome to see me. This is my email ID and you can write to me.